All right, guys. Division round in the National Football League features world of matchups and Blue Milk Boys Gaming back in action. Last week in your absence, Spencer, I went two and three. This week, I'm taking a different approach, and we will start with my team, the Kansas City Chiefs at home in rainy and snowy Arrowhead Stadium taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars, who I picked last week to pull the upset and did versus the L.A. Chargers. This is going to be an interesting game for a couple of reasons. Number one, the weather. Weather's not going to be good. A good friend of mine is there now reporting that it's pretty nasty. And by game time, mm. we could see 50% chance of snow. Last wow. time I saw Mahomes in snow, he threw the ball all over Denver. Couple that with Trevor Lawrence saying that, you know, the atmosphere in Arrowhead won't be anything different than he's what he's seen before. They're going to be looking to break the record. I don't think Jacksonville stands a chance at winning this game. If there's one team I think that just goes ham this week, I think it's going to be the Chiefs. They are minus nine and a half. When they played the, the Jags in November, they had a similar line. I believe they covered. Um, they won 27-17. They have everyone back except McCole Hardman, which I don't think that matters. I think McCole Hardman and CEH are done as Chiefs, honestly. Maybe they'll play in the Super Bowl if they get that far. But when you have a guy like Kadarius Tony filling in, they're not going to miss a beat. Playoff Mahomes is as good as anyone. You know, I can't remember a, a better quarterback in the playoffs other than Tom Brady recent times. And, and so I, I see this as being a resounding Chiefs win. What I think a lot of people are going to be expecting is going to be a lot of fireworks in this game. And I don't think it's going to be that crazy. I think it'll be a methodical, you know, march up and down the field type of game because of the elements. And I think the Chiefs defense, who really hasn't been getting their flowers recently, will probably be the the, the the reason why the Chiefs really pull this game out. Trevor Lawrence is him. You know, I've been saying it for a while. You know this. I do like Jacksonville. But there's steps that you have to take. The jump that they've made already with, you know, this head, Doug, Doug Peterson at the helm, you know, it wasn't that long ago that we were talking about Urban Meyer and this team. They're a year ahead of schedule. Does anyone really think that the Jags have a shot at winning this game and going further into playoffs? I, I just don't. At best, at best, you can tease that 9.5 in cover. But I just think that the league wants to see the Chiefs and the Bills in Atlanta. The tickets are already sold out, and the games haven't even been played this week yet. The storylines are there, folks. DeMar Hamlin, the Bill. I mean, this is something that everyone is expecting to see. And I think the league is going to do everything they can to make sure it happens. I see Trevor Lawrence throwing at least two picks in this game. They'll score, but the Chiefs are just going to score more and they're going to cover, especially in the playoffs. The Chiefs are a different animal. Your thoughts on this game? Yeah, I mean, it, the Chiefs aren't the Chargers. So if they get to a 24 nothing lead, there's no coming back from that. No it's just. Back completely different situation now I, I also doubt that trevor lawrence throws four interceptions in the first half again that's probably unlikely but we'll, we'll see what happens uh you know the i guess the best thing for the jaguars right now is that they don't know any better if that if you're going to make some sort of argument they don't have any expectations so that can be a very advantageous place to be in the nfl you know, it does come down to Trevor Lawrence, and he did have an incredible second half. But mm -hmm. like I said, it, even one interception might be too much for this game. I mean, that's that's how small of an error margin there is against the Chiefs. And maybe he got every interception out of him, you know, for his playoff career in that one game. We'll see. I doubt it. You know, again, he's still young. I mean, this is crazy that what they did this year, the run that they went on is really a testament to Doug. They're Davis, hot. Like you were talking about. Mm -hmm. They are, and, the, and they obviously have a lot of momentum, a big win. We'll see if it was too draining for them, maybe. It's not easy to come back from 24 down the way that they did. I, I like the Jaguars, and I think everybody does. Uh, I don't think there's going to have much of a chance. He'll, he'll find out pretty quick that it's not just another stadium. Uh, they're no obviously way. known for being, like, the loudest. It was like Dude, People were lining up outside of Arrowhead Stadium 17 hours ago. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's Kansas 17 City. 17 hours ago, bro. That's what the people of Kansas City do. They go watch the Chiefs and they go watch, the, you know, their baseball teams and stuff because that's like the main attraction in town. There's nothing else to do. Yeah, it's yeah, going to go nuts. It's, it's, yeah, it's going to be loud in there. So I agree with you. I think I don't see a way that the Jaguars win. 
I don't think it'd be the most shocking upset in NFL history if they won. I don't think it's that extreme. No. I just think the Chiefs have too much playoff experience here, and I think that the fact that they're at home is just the icing on the top. Yeah, you're a little young, but I don't know if you remember the Keenan McCardle, Jimmy Smith, Mark Brunel Jaguar team that marched into mile high and beat the Broncos. You know what I mean? That is probably what it would be tantamount to if they went in and beat the Chiefs today. I, I just I don't see it. I mean, Andy Reid would have to really Andy Reid for that to happen. And I think that after watching them take apart the Raiders two weeks ago in methodical fashion, that's more of what you want to see from Kansas City. A little more run game, a little less Mahomes, a little more ball control, and still beat the team by 20. If the Chiefs do that, they're going to have a hard time being stopped in the playoffs. But if they just ask Mahomes to throw it 50 times and those D-backs, they just drop back, cover two shell, that's where they fall apart. And so I think that this is going to be a chess match of coaching. We know what the players can do. Doug Peterson's a solid coach. Will he be out coached, you know, by Andy Reid, or will Andy Reid lose the chess game and 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 not swallow his pride because he likes to do all these stupid trick plays inside the five, and then Mahomes throws a, a dumb pick, which we all know he's prone to do. These things do happen. I mean, remember, up 21-3 versus the Bengals at home, you get the ball back first, first and in goal inside the five, and they lost that game at home, yeah. at home versus a Bengals team. That was a very good team, and the Jaguars are just as hot right now as that Bengals team was last year. So anything can happen. This is why they play the games, but I like the Chiefs minus the 9.5. Go ahead and book it, folks. Playoff Mahomes is just different, but it should be a good game all in all.